Welcome to another unboxing. This one is something I picked up in the recent GMT game sale. It's just turned up today. Pericles, the Peloponnesian Wars by Mark Herman. Now, I got it because I've not really got much um, game-wise regarding the Greek era. Although, interestingly, the one other game I have is Peloponnesian War by Mark Herman. And I really ought to give it another chance because I played it... I played it once or twice a year or so ago. Wasn't a big fan. Didn't enjoy. It's it's solitaire play. But what you do is as you as you start to win, you you swap sides, and it just it didn't seem very satisfying. But I, I don't want to slate it because I maybe didn't give it enough of a chance to see whether it grew on me. So uh, I've also got by Mark Herman Empire of the Sun, which. I've never really played. I've had it out once, but not played it. So I really have to give Mark Herman a chance because I know um, people do love his games. Uh, anyway, so back to this one, Pericles. And I, I, I don't know too much about the, the actual game itself, this one. So I'm, I'm going to read a bit more. Pericles is a sandbox, unscripted war game. that covers the entire period of conflict on the Peloponnesian Wars. Four-player game. Although I know it can be played three player, two player or solitaire, which is what I will be doing in general. Um, and it's each team of two represents a faction vying for control of their city states, strategy on, and honour. Um, it uses elements from the Golden Geek Best War Game 2015, Churchill, to simulate wars, the extension of politics by other means. In the war portion of the game, it is us versus them. So you've got Athens against Sparta, but within each, in each camp, you, you've got um, different. I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna call them. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. I can't even think of the word there. Um, so battle is based on armies and fleets being led by the classic generals of your representative Strategos tokens. If you experience periods of peace and periods of war. And there are 23 historical scenarios that allow you to experience the entire 60-year period. Um, looking at the complexity, complexity 6, medium complexity. Solitaire suitability 9, high, none. Normally you see that when it's solitaire only game. So I'm guessing that must mean uh, that it was made with the solitaire player in mind playing time 30 minutes to six hours plays one to four so let's have a look at what's in the box rules of play plenty four pages long but not, um, not too heavy there Plenty of illustration, which if you see the other unboxes, I do like that because it, it tends to make things a lot easier. Sometimes you can't get the rules in your head, but if you can work your way through an example of what it's talking about, you can quickly understand a lot better. So that's the rule book. Playbook with the scenarios in. Scenarios to go through anyway. 23, you've got a training scenario there. Just got all the different scenarios. I'm just looking at page 11, so you've got solitaire and four player rules. Here you see you have separate rules for the solitaire. Factions, that's the word I was thinking of earlier on. I don't know why that didn't come to me before. <laughs> um, you can play with no humans. Interesting. Oh, nice. Scenario book, isn't it? Uh, you got a strategy guide towards the end. And designer notes, which I always find interesting. A 
abbreviated sequence of play. That's one for each. That's a little bit disappointingly uh, folded over those two. like a mini player aid with these for each one and we've got an Athenium player aid card master scenario setup my collection summary another Athenium player aid and then I'm guessing we have two Spartan player aids as well Strategy Matrix, that's one of the factions for the Formio faction. And the Spartan strategy. That is Formio it maybe isn't a faction. I shouldn't guess at these things without knowing. Because we've got Athenian Strategy Matrix and Spartan Strategy Matrix there. Decision charts. This may this uh, again. I'm guessing this is your flow charts for if you're playing um, solitaire. You know, different resolutions. So yeah, that looks like it's your solitaire um, chart. Let's see there, and then just one sheet of counters, nice thick counters, like them, like they'll pop out quite easily, mounted map, let's just look at that, I think that looks very pretty map actually. trying to open these up and keep it not the camera and fit it in so yeah you can see the map of these you've got the let's move the camera a little bit there you've got the athens and spartan assemblies there with the different factions and then you've got your map of i'm going to say greece but it's, it's greece and part of um, Modern day Turkey, Macedonia. It's so yeah, nice map. And then what else have we got? A couple of oh, six sided dice and a 20 sided dice. Wooden blocks. I guess for your blocks and for your counters and I'm not going to open these because I'll end up um, doing what you've seen me do before where I can't get them open to pause the game so you've got um, Aristophanes deck, Spartan deck and an Athenian deck and what I must do is resolve to actually play this game because it does seem Looking at my shelf, the Mark Herman games don't get much love from myself, so um, I will get this to the table very soon. I'm looking forward to playing it actually, and I will also give the original Peloponnesian War a go too. But thank you for tuning in. I will probably be back in a few days because I've got another game on. I've got the Men of Iron Tripack on order, which is due to turn up later this week. Which I, I seem to have gone down this route because I did it with NATO, Cold War Goes Hot. Again, it's not a solitaire game, but um, similar to what I've done with this, the, I don't have much on the medieval period. I don't even think I have anything. I've got a few computer games, Field of Glory, but now I've got Napoleonic. But now nothing 
medieval wise and I know that men of iron is rated very highly for being able to actually play it out historically and try different what if scenarios so I will be back in a few days with another unboxing of that one thank you very much for listening